Carl Fairburn, OSS operative, focused and fearless, unmatched with a sniper rifle. Spent most of the war operating alone behind enemy lines, not used to working in a team, but willing to adapt if circumstances required. For example, if confronted by millions of bloodthirsty Nazi zombies. Dr. Ephraim Schweiger, academic researcher, former pacifist and skeptic, would rather be in a library. Avoided conscription by assisting the Nazi research their favorite obsession, the occult. Inadvertently, he assisted in bringing about the apocalypse. He is no longer a pacifist or a skeptic. Boris Medvedev, Red Army veteran, stoic, practical, and no-nonsense, fiercely loyal to the deserving, narrowly avoided charges of insubordination on a number of occasions. He has witnessed and survived far worse than the horrors of the zombie apocalypse. Hermann Wolf, Wehrmacht captain, alert, wary, doting husband and father, Little patience for politics with its attendant egos and backstabbing corruption. Never believed in Hitler's message, but followed orders for the sake of protecting his family. <laughs> Beth Coleman, portrait painter, a keen eye and a steady hand, an artist with a gun exchanged brushes and canvas for guns and bullets when subjects stopped sitting politely and started attacking her. No previous combat experience, but quickly discovered a talent for dispatching the undead. Marie Chevalier, resistance fighter, independent and single-minded, dreams of owning a vineyard, executed key sabotage missions, to facilitate the Allies' advance through France following the invasion of Normandy, then traveled alone to Berlin on a personal mission to assassinate Hitler himself. Anya Bokareva, amateur sharpshooter, patient, deliberate, and patriotic, gave up rifle sports and her university studies to serve in the military when Germany invaded the Soviet Union rapidly established herself as one of the most formidable snipers in the Red Army. Hannah Schultz, freedom fighter, fierce, driven by vengeance, orphaned at an early age, values family above all else, wears the uniform of the man who executed her husband and children. <laughs> 